My name is Julia Jopro, and uh, thank you for sitting down with us and having a conversation with our perspectives. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, who you are, and what you do? Yeah, so I'm uh, Vesco Sandgoen in Senia. Mm -hmm. I'm 30 years old, and I'm from Curaçao, now living in the years in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently a PhD candidate at the Amsterdam School for Cultural Analysis okay. at the UVA. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently researching uh, cultural practices of citizenship of sexual minorities in Curaçao and Bonaire. And I'm basically looking at how do these sexual minorities uh, perform and culturally articulate citizenship. Uh, so how do they belong to the society or um, get kicked out mm -hmm. um, in Bonaire and Curaçao. And I'm looking into our history, so I'm interviewing people mm -hmm. and telling about their lives and stories, but also um, looking at performances, daily performances, such as um, festivities, like parades, but also parties, and also theater plays. Mm -hmm. And one specific case I really like is that at one of these LGBT parties in Curaçao, they these sexual minorities dance to heteronormative songs mm -hmm. and by doing that they kind of change this idea of patriarchy and change the idea of, of being masculinity of, or, or, or feminine. Uh, so I think, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, like to, to change this notion of what is seen, what is imaginable and what is uh, represented. When I grew up, when I was growing up in Curaçao, I was really like a nerd <laughs> who really liked to read. So I went every day to the library and one, one day when I found out that I was attracted to men, I was really looking to books like fiction or non-fiction that talked about uh, homosexuality. But I couldn't find any. <laughs> And the only books that um, I could find is uh, that I could find is are Dutch books that portray white men um, living gay lives. So this is an Expresso, a Dutch magazine, which is now only online. It's also really problematic how they portray the um, the Dutch Caribbean. So they say, for example. Beaches, white beaches, palm trees, <laughs> um, nice uh, sea, and homophobia. So they they portray this idea of of being gay is not not possible, and that you have to like move you out of the yeah. yeah. So one of the type is surviving when I'm stuck. Um, so it, it already feels like you are in a jungle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where all these wild men are going to to, to harass yeah, you yeah. or kill you all the time and mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that there's no homophobia yeah. but I'm saying that um, by this framing you are um, creating this this idea that it's not possible at all which is for these young kids are really tr troublesome because when I talk also with these um, these these youth, these youth uh, the LGBT, LGBT subjects, they were telling me, so how is it how is it in the Netherlands? Um, so they are really looking in looking forward to moving yeah. from Curaçao to live like a happy free life. Yeah. Free life. But then I was thinking, so when you go here, when you come here, there are other problems. So you get like discriminated against. Um, so it's not like a, this gay paradise, but it's actually more problematic than, than what, what it seems. More and more, there are more academic work um, that focus on uh, African diaspora mm -hmm. and also the, the Caribbean in itself, but not that much on the Dutch Caribbean. Um, what I found interesting is that the Caribbean and also maybe also the continent of Africa mm -hmm. is seen as a place where 
uh, there's a unit for homophobia where people that are LGBT cannot belong. So for some, the continent of Africa, but also the Caribbean as, uh, are seen as um, completely homophobic and macho. And to be homosexual is to be un-African or to be un Brazilian or un -Bavarian. And um, in my research, I tried to problematize this idea by looking at um, how these, so if, if indeed this, these societies, societies are homophobic, um, how, do you, how do these sexual minorities uh, maneuver within these societies? And I don't think that because the existence of the sexual minorities, I don't think these societies are uniformly homophobic, of course. It's also a stereotype um, that has been maintained 